Olivia, what's poppin'? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Thanks so much for having me. I am. Uh, I'm great. I'm super excited. I've been uh, creeping on your Instagram and creeping on your videos. And it, there was one video that I saw and I was like, man, I love how silky smooth your voice is. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. You're so welcome. Does it does it ever I don't want to say creep you out, but do you get tired of hearing compliments like that? Oh, gosh, no, no, that's that's so nice. Why would I be tired of that? <laughs> I would be like, oh, come on, guys. I know. I know. We got this silky smooth <laughs> voice. Anywho, how are things with you? They're good, you know, just uh, working on getting some new music out and my, my debut album's coming in July. So it's been busy, but it's been good. Let's talk about how excited you are about this debut album that's going to be coming out in July. Do you have the jitters? Do you have the anxiety? Tell me everything how you feel right now. Yeah, I mean, it's been a long time coming. I've heard these songs so many times. So I'm just, I think I'm ready to to show the world. But uh, I released a single last month and then I got one coming next Friday, the 28th. Um, so I'm just, I'm really excited. I think Are I'm you... nervous maybe, but it's it's always a good thing to be nervous. Right, because I was going to ask that. Since you've heard these songs over and over again, they're probably like, you know, you're probably like ear blind to them. Or yes. do you listen to them and you're like, mm, let's fix that. We got to do something different with that. Yeah, I mean, I think I just keep trying to tell myself that it's art, so it's never going to be perfect, you know, like you're always going to listen to like, oh, I should have done this harmony or I should turn this down in the mix. But at the end of the day, it's like, it, I don't know, I think you just got to roll with what, what your gut told you at the beginning and then just kind of see where it goes. Are you one of the people that like to have other people listen to it and critique it and then maybe go back in the studio and change a couple of things or no? Yeah, I think right off the bat, I like to do that because once like, once you're in it, it's really hard, I think, to critique it sometimes. So right after I write a song, I like to show, I think I have my my few people in my mm -hmm. life. I don't like to show too many people because too many opinions, there's just too much going on. <laughs> but, Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, so after that, I mean, then I kind of just roll with that and, and the song gets finished. Do you ever get crazy amounts of anxiety like right now? Like you're about to release a song, right? Hmm. Are you thinking to yourself, like, what are people thinking? How are they going to perceive it? Yeah, I think it, I'm going to be honest, it definitely flip-flops. Someday you wake up, you're like, hey, this song is so great. I'm so excited. But then you've also heard the song so many times and you're like, is this, is this the right single on the album? Should we be doing this? But I think you really just have to surrender. And as I said before, like, it's, it's art. Some people are going to like it. Some people aren't going to like it. But as long as you like it, I think that's truly all that matters. Absolutely. I was reading this quote about you that I thought it was like, it said, Olivia is poised for success. Pandemic be damned. <laughs> That's powerful. <laughs> right? Like, forget the pandemic. You are still going to rock out. You're still going to do big things and you're still going to be popping. That's a very nice quote. That's very nice. I, mean, I that, love It's cool. <laughs> right. Like that, that. Do you feel like that that's added pressure when you hear stuff like that? I mean, sometimes we're all human, right? Like we have right. really bad days, but I do feel blessed that through, I mean, this crazy time of a pandemic, I have been able to make music and my team's been really great at helping me put that out. So I do feel grateful, but I mean, yeah, shout out frontline workers who have been working their butts off while we chill inside and hang out. Absolutely. What have you been doing during like this downtime? Man, so much. I feel like, okay, so much, but so little. Okay. <laughs> um i've Thanks. definitely gotten into some some health things like meditation has honestly changed my life it's been a big one for me um into fitness into like this weird juice stuff um netflix just hanging out writing i guess i have been writing a lot too but just lots of i think self care things because usually things are so crazy and busy that we kind of don't have time to do that you know so i've really just been Focus on me, I guess. I've always tried to get into the meditation thing. Like I've have I have the calm app on my phone right that, now. That's what got me to it, but it's definitely a process. Like some days I sit to meditate, and my head's just I'm like, okay, I can't do this. <laughs> right. I feel like when I sit and try to meditate, there are so many thoughts going through my brain right now. There was one time I fell asleep and I had no idea how people would like just sit and do this and actually are successful it, with it. They call it the monkey in your mind. So yeah, you gotta work on trying to tame that, but it's it's hard. No, what does that mean? The monkey jumping around in your mind. It's like all the crazy thoughts, anxiety is just going crazy in your head. So if you can learn to tame the monkey, then you can just like sit there and be 
enlightened, I guess. Olivia, can you please help me out right quick? Because I feel like I need to learn. So how did you learn how to like tame it while you're meditating? I think it's just repetition and continuously doing that. I think I did, when I started, I tried to like a month straight. It was like 30 days straight. Mm-hmm. And even if my mind was going crazy, I'd still sit and be like, okay, you know, I got to get through, started with 10 minutes. Um, usually I still only do 10 minutes, but I'm up to about twice a day now. So right when I get up in the morning, I'm right before bed. But it's just like anything, like riding your bike. You just you keep doing it. And then eventually you kind of just like snap into that groove. And then you can find that place, which has been, I think, the most... I don't want to say life changing, but it truly has been because in moments of anxiety and all these un- unknowns during this pandemic, being able to like harness that space has been cool. What do you feel like after you're finished meditating? Very, very calm. I guess that's the point of the app, right? That's what they call it that. I yeah. don't know if it's the app, though. Sometimes I'll just put on some like cool sound baths, um, like frequency noises and stuff. I sound like a total hippie. <laughs> 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 it's all good. I feel like everybody of our generation is a hippie right now. We all yeah. have anxiety. We all meditate to get better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, totally. But I mean, I guess the goal is to just like start the day and end the day with, with a clear mind because there's lots mm. of crazy things, especially going on social media. I mean, it's so important. We all stay educated, but there's just so much going on sometimes. And that negativity is just it's a lot, I think, for all of us. Could you imagine being in school right now with social media? No, honestly, no. I think I was in high school right when social media was starting to be a thing, Mm -hmm. but I was still also in like the MSN messenger time. So I was in the weird transition between like that to like Snapchat. Right. And yeah, I mean, I feel for everyone like TikTok's crazy. I'm, I'm on TikTok. I use TikTok, but it's just nuts that that's the reality for this like next up and coming generation. Right. It it would dri- it drives me, you know, insane right now, but I could not imagine being in school and having to deal no. with this. And yeah, I got to deal with you, you socially and yeah, right. online too. Hell nah. Oh my gosh, crazy. I can't imagine being a teacher and just having all these like stupid audios. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> over and over and over again. Olivia, tell me about the first time, the first song that you heard that you thought to yourself, I want to be a singer. Oof, it's a good question. Hmm. I think, I mean, growing up, my dad was super into Fleetwood Mac. Mm-hmm. So it's like Dreams by Fleetwood Mac or Sunrise by Nora Jones. It's like a super folky, jazzy song. Um, but those two songs, I just loved how they made me feel. And I was mm-hmm. like, I want to I wanna make something that makes someone feel like that. That's so cool. But there's and- honestly, I don't think I can narrow it down to one song. It was just like, there's so many that have been in my life that have led to this moment. So Fleetwood Mac is that's such a great dreams is such a great song. It's so chill. Yeah. Like, and it came oh. back. I, I like love and hate that it came back, right? Because it again went on TikTok and then it's just like over and over and over. But it's good. It's a good song. So I'm happy that that generation discovered it for the first time. It's so funny because I'm thinking to myself, like you just now like are discovering this song. I'm such a music snob too. Like really, this this is a classic. This is not new. Relax. Are you the kind of person where it's like, if you find an up and coming artist, it's like, oh, I found them first. Before yes, they're... absolutely. I will be claiming Olivia for the rest of my life. <laughs> well, thank you. It's an honor. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about the song, Who Could Say No? Yeah, so Who Could Say No? I was honored. I got to work with Boy Wonder, the Grammy Award winning producer on this mm-hmm. track. So that was huge. Um, but in terms of the song itself, it's a fun song. It's disco-y, it's dancey. And I've written a lot of sad songs in my time. So I'm, I'm pumped this one is fun and, and happy because we need that. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's cool to be emo and all in your feelings. I tell people that all the time. Like, it's cool to be <laughs> in your feelings. That's yeah. why you have your feelings. But can we dance now that the pandemic is over? Yeah, there's, there's got to be a, a little bit of, like, a lift. Otherwise, it's, like, pandemic, sad music. It's just, like, okay, we need... You'd be happy. <laughs> Absolutely. What do you think your favorite part is on working on new music in this industry? Like, what's your favorite? I'd have to say the writing, the writing process. See my guitar behind me here. Um, I just love to write music and I love to write music with other people who love to write music. And that whole process is very cathartic and just fun. And it's so cool to see a song kind of go from a to Z, or I guess A to Z. That's how you guys say it, right? Z? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think the writing, but it, it's also fun. It's it's such a cool 
thing to be doing. It's very cool. Do you, do you start off with a melody first, like just, or do you write it down first and then put it to a melody? How does that work? I think both come at the same time for me. Cause usually I, I start a lot of my songs on guitar. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll pick up and I guess technically the chords would come first, but then melody and lyrics kind of come at the same time. So you got the debut album hitting us in July. What else are you working on? Yeah, I mean, more more music, as crazy as that sounds. Um, more music and I mean, eventually, I'd love to tour. We'll see what the state of the world is, but I've had a few rehearsals with my band and we're working on these new songs. So as soon as we can go and play these songs, we'll be ready. But yeah, just lots, lots of music stuff. <laughs> I feel like you are always working. You're always hustling. When do you stop? When do you relax? What do you do? I meditate. <laughs> oh, that's it? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I find a lot of time to relax. I mean, I like to have, I mean, obviously depending on my day, it's like having the first few hours of my day so I can just like hang out or get a workout in or just like drink tea or coffee or something. But I find time to relax. Yeah. I think I'm a fairly chill person too. So I, I try not to get too, too stressed if I have a busy day. I feel the chill vibes, Olivia. It was such a great time <laughs> chatting with you. And thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. It was so great to meet you. It was so great to meet you. Thank you.